Yo, what is up, you guys? Today we're playing Danganronpa. So this is my first Danganronpa game ever. So I watched the anime for this way back in the day when I was a kid, and I don't really remember much of it just being a murder mystery thing. That was about it. So we're going to get right into it and see what's up, because I am excited for this. All right, no load, because I don't have any progress. New game, right? Obviously, uh, English, you know, my native language. Uh, logic difficulty. Kind? Hmm. I'll, I'll just do the normal. Let's do normal. Let's do normal. My IQ's not that, you know, um, up to par, I would say. You know, I'm pretty dumb when it comes to these games. Oh, shoot. Okay. Oh. Oh, no. This... This looks bad. Oh, <laughs> this animation, dude. This looks insane. Oh! Oh, shit! Where the hell is he going? What the hell? He just sent his ass to space? He was just in a classroom! Bro is gonna blow up in there, there's no way. Okay, the whole school should be blown up, there's no way. He He's still alive. Dude, bro, what the hell? How was the school even there? The school shouldn't even be there. You shouldn't even be alive, Mr. Bear. Or whatever his name is. This man is just, he's a villain, dude. This dude's just laughing like he just did the best thing ever, like, ever done. What a jerk, man. It's not cool. Oh, my God. Um, the massive high school towers over all of the other buildings in this bustling urban area. Bustling. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Oh, my Lord. Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government-funded school of privilege. This is a government-funded school? That's insane. <laughs> that they say that if you come here, uh, they say if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to attend this school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student can enroll here. The only way is, is if you're scouted by the school itself. So, okay, so everybody has to be in top testing scores or like do they have to be all like in like unique type of way of students that's what i'm imagining I, at least and standing there at the gate of the ultimate school field filled ultimate school filled with the ultimate students ultimate students they call them was me interesting before we go any farther i guess i should introduce myself my name's makoto naegi hey yo Meliodas is in this anime? <laughs> Wait a minute, what the hell? Pretty sure it sounds like Meliodas. Uh, before we go any further... Uh, oh wait, that's that he said that. I don't have to read. The fuck? They made him voice act? Now I gotta read it? As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. Average on the outside, average on the inside. I really don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. So why the fuck are you even there? And why are we wasting our time reading this shit? Leave! I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff like I, I like to do, but it's not like I'm psychic or mutant or whatever. Like, if you ask me what my favorite song was or my favorite movie or TV show, they'd all just be whatever most popular at that particular moment. Even among the average, I'm com completely average, so I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. Oh, Alright. That's just who I am. 
Dude, this is like the most cliche thing in anime. Like, they'll be like, man, I'm just an average dude, dude. An average Joe, just going to an average school. I'm nothing but an average guy. And then, and then their whole life changes and they become like this most, I don't know, crazy, powerful being or whatever. But this might be completely different than like other anime, so I, I don't know. Or they might be like special in some way afterwards. Anyway, I figure it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak. Oh shit. Oh, space is auto. I say I'm a little more gung ho than other people. Okay. I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary, but still. Here I am, standing in front of the anything but ordinary Hope's Peak Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. Oh boy, survive is an understatement. It's got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no wonder I would feel that way. We have to understand is. Well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. Um... Hope's Peak only invites those students who are truly elite in their field. Okay, come on, keep it coming. Apparently, my friend kind of knows them. I guess everything there's state of the art. This year's ultimate pop sensation is going to be going there. Yeah, the ultimate baseball pro is going to be there too. So jealous, it's only for winners. It's such a popular topic, there are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I look up some of those threads. Uh, so jealous it's only for winners. Hope one, any, hope, wait, how can anyone even get in? I'm trying to read the freaking text. And all I saw was about ultimate students who were way beyond your average high schoolers. We got a pop idol here. For example, one incoming student, the ultimate pop station. I guess she's a high school girl who's also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. Damn! There's also the ultimate baseball star. He was the cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. Alright. Sick. There's an ultimate fashionista. Check out all the latest dresses and fashion. So this is the girl. Damn, she got some fat ass titties. Um, she's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. Bro, they got a freaking gangs the biker game motherfucker here. Oh, and they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader too. I guess they can invite criminals too. I guess. The scary thing is, he's the facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love the guy. Pfft, that's insane, bro. They're inviting criminals too? This looks. This sounds like a dangerous ass school, man. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, the ultimate gambler. Why are they always called ultimate? The ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate <laughs> calibrant. Uh, and then some reading that, that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest top to the bottom. Okay, so basically they're trying to get me to the point where making me realize that I'm basically fucking worthless apparently to everyone else. We get it, alright? We get it. We, we don't have to keep going with this. I felt like a tame little house cat who'd wandered into a pride of lions. God damn. Alright, dude, we get it the first time, bro. You're worthless. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who I couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. I mean, apparently we get it, bro. Like, we went through all the other characters. Like, you don't have to keep repeating yourself here. This is what they call a run-on sentence. <laughs> oh my god. But then, what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? I'm kidding. They don't call it a run-on sentence. They call it, like, 
I don't know. That, the run-on sentence when you don't have a period in your sentences, but like I, I just made that up just to exaggerate shit. Could they be just average students like me without any talent or anything? That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality, but beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? Oh, there's something definitely wrong with this school then. I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter they sent me to see why. Uh, okay, we recently had a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you have been unselected. You have been, oh, I said, you have been selected and we invite you to join us at the ultimate lucky student. They spelled it out plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. Honestly, I probably should I probably would have been better off just declining their offer. But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no. But then, actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost. Like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. But still I can't just stand here in front of the gate forever frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter clutched in my hand. It said that there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting still isn't for a little while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before. And I took my first step toward the main hall. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock over in the corner. It says it's 7.10 a.m. Alright. Uh, the meeting doesn't start until 8 o'clock, so there's still a full 50 minutes left. It makes sense nobody else would be here yet. I was so wound up, I got here way too early. I had plenty of time before the meeting just standing around waiting isn't exactly I should take a look around the school maybe that'll help me calm down a little I am a student here now so there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around right it'll help me kill some time if any if nothing else I'm trying to play it cool I took my first step into the Pope's Peak Academy it was also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school at least that's what I was hoping for Oh, hoping for. Oh shit, I knew it. Just going wrong. What the? What the hell? But the instant I took the first step forward, my view became warped, twisted. It was like some kind of delusion, melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away. Then spinning again. And the next moment, everything went black. Oh. That was how it all began. And how life, as I knew it, came to an end. At that point, I should have realized, the reason I was brought to Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck, it was so I could experience ultimate despair. <laughs> Damn. Well, at least you found out what happened. Okay, welcome to the spare prologue. Oh shit, this is a fucking prologue? You want to save? Yeah, let's just save here. That was a long yap session from like the beginning. Alright, speaking. Ugh. What? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zoink off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but... What was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. What the heck is going on? Oh, shit. Alright. That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of drool I must have left there. Ew. I'll have to clean that up later. Hey, what's down on the desk? An orientation guide. It's some kind of cheap looking pamphlet. And there's something handwritten on it. 
The next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. What the hell? Is this some kind I is this someone's idea of a joke? What the fuck are their cameras for? Is that a surveillance camera? It's a dangerous world we live in. I, I guess they have these to keep weirdos from just wandering in? Nah, that's weird, bro. The, what, what the fuck is their cameras for? There's no need for cameras. Hold on. Wait, do I have to... Oh, I can move up and down. Okay. Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. It was just after 7 when I first got here. Has it really been almost an hour since then? Damn. Yo, what are these screws? What the heck? In any normal classroom, that's where a window should be, but it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. And if I were to knock on it... Damn, that motherfucker hard as hell! You have definitely metal. Thick too. Very solid. Wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? Okay, let's see what might have happen is I got myself so wound up I passed out in the main hall and then someone carried me here if that's true oh shit I didn't read that part this is a classroom inside Hope's Peak but then if that's true that just raises more questions this is all really strange I mean those metal plates covering the windows it's like it's a prison or something none of this makes sense I should probably head back to the main hall I like how they have the notification that he's like speaking right now physically and then there's like the blue where he's like digging in his head. It's already past the meeting time. There might be other students there now. You can leave the classroom by pressing R. Oh. Uh. Okay. Sure. Jeez, this hallway is kind of weird too. This is getting stranger by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Uh, well for now, I'll just head to the main hall. Use WSC the keys to move. What? Whole shit to run? Yo. Okay, also you can press map the key to bring it up a map. Press tab there, okay. What? This motherfucker 3D! Yo! This is insane. By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Whoa, hey! Another new kid? Oh, shit. They got every Damn, who the hell is that, mo manly motherfucker? What the? <laughs> what? Huh? Then you guys are all. Yeah, we're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. So, counting him, that makes 15. It's a lot of kids. Seems like a good cutoff point, but okay. I wonder if this is everyone. Okay, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I feel like some of these motherfuckers are grown-ass people, bro. Especially that one dude that's dressed like a schoolgirl. That's like all manly and shit. There's no freaking way that's a goddamn kid. And that dude has a beard. So yeah, no, some of these people gotta be grown as hell. Standing before me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who'd gathered there, taking in their faces one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. An aura. Um, how's it going? My name's Makoto Nagi. Sorry I'm late, a bunch of stuff happened, and then all of a sudden I was just asleep. Huh? Whoa, you too? Hmm. Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser, okay. Mm -hmm. So strange, I declare beyond a shadow of doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. Um, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Got it. Just a moment, there's something else we must address. Makoto, your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely, you are aware that the meeting was to start at 8 a.m. Sharp! To be late on your first day is unspeakable! <laughs> I must report you, and you must accept your due punishment. What? Nigga, the hell? You ain't my daddy. What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. That's right. 
Everyone just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Yeah, there we go. The hell? How's no now's no time for freaking introductions. <laughs> Maybe, but be good to at least find out who we all are before digging into the bigger problems here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we do not know each other's names? Yeah. That's a good idea. That's a good point. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point. Okay, so let's introduce. So, so let's get introductions out of the way. Then we can move on to whatever else sounds good. I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess this is a good chance as I'm gonna get already looked around every everyone up on the Hope's Peak Academy thread online, but I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. I'll start by talking to those five over there. Aim at a student and press the left mouse to talk to them. Uh, each conversation is important to so overall story, so keep track of how they of how they go. Alright, so I gotta keep track. Hmm. I'll start with this. Damn, this motherfucker. But how does he even walk with that with this fat ass dog? God damn, bro. I know his knees are killing him right now. Dude. I am Hifumi Yamada. But if you want to call me by my nickname, the Alpha and the Omega. I don't mind. Bro, you're not doing your legs justice at all, man. Hifumi Yamada. Ultimate fanfic. By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Look, not all anime lovers are like this. Well, I make jokes all the time about it, but you know what I'm saying? Just. I don't know, bro. Like, looking like this and like just having that hair for a head. Bro, what the fuck is his head, dude? What is his hair? World of 2D. <laughs> Well, in that world, I am well known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. Mm -hmm. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event has passed into legend. Hmm. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I tainted the event. How stupid can you be? That's too bad about them. But selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. Dude. Uh, you're you're you earn some money. However, the words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. Um, all right, buddy. <laughs> the glazing is kind of crazy. I am a soldier, serving night and day to destroy all the mindless perceptions, uh, per preconceptions about fan fiction. My bad. I stripped them my words a lot. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Nike, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. For my work is filled with deepest meaning. Uh, what kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. But we about to bring up some dojins and shit. It's about embracing our basest urges. Yep, I knew it. It's a bunch of dojins. Dojin, dojin, dojins. Oh my god. Don't even ask me how I know that, alright? I don't think I want to comprehend it. Alright. So I say... We're gonna say the best for last. We're gonna go through all the other people that... Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? Okay. So we're gonna go through all the other people. And then we're gonna go to the last one. Ultimate Baseball Star. Oh. I recognize that name. So he's the baseball kid. The fuck happened to his hair? He played for the old National High School champs as their cleanup hitter, the ultimate baseball star. And that superb athletic specimen is. You seriously? Huh? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. I'm just surprised. I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star and all. What were you expecting? Some kid with a shaved head? Shaved head? No, I was just expecting more of a, you know, sporty looking traditional baseball player type. Yeah, he doesn't really look like a baseball player, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, when I found that article and picture of you online, that's how you looked then. Whoa, aw oh, man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously, I hate that picture. Why? What the crap? 
This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously, I'm like a mega embarrassed right now. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like that is part of national championship regulations. Oh boy. But now I refuse to cut my hair, and I'm not gonna dye it back to normal, either. Hey, listen. Actually, can I be totally honest with you? you know, I don't like baseball. Like, at all. I've never gone to a single practice. How are you a national baseball champ? He's never practiced and he was still his team's star player? He's some kind of prodigy. Yeah, I was gonna say, wait a minute, this is a, what the hell? And as soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. What do you want to do? Please don't be a rapper. <laughs> that's going to be so fun. Actually, no, if he's going to be a rapper, that's going to be hilarious. A dream for the future? My only path in life is getting into music. I... Uh, I mean, it was close. It wasn't, it wasn't rap, but, you know, it's still music. You can feel that star quality aura I have, right? I'm gonna be a singer, so all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar, and we're set. How cool is that? This new version of me that's chasing after my dream is like super cool to the max. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball all-star. Oh boy. Okay. This guy had some beef with me. Actually, you know what? I'll talk to her. Oh wow! Is she, she nice? Sayaka. The way she moves is positively mesmerizing, and that pleasant scent I can't quite place. Oh, he's in love already. Damn, this boy is already starstruck. He's like, oh yeah, I found my baby girl right here. Sayago Mayazono. When I saw her name in that thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. Okay. Oh yeah, she's a pop idol, I forgot. She's not pop group famous all across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. Okay. As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and in magazines everywhere. Okay, so I can, I can finally understand why they keep kind of repeating the same thing over and over again. And I'm going to assume this is going to be like one of those like detective type game uh, series in this visual novel that we're about to play. I'm not gonna lie, I've been playing a lot of death game visual, uh, death visual novels for some reason. I've been playing Your Turn, and now this. So that's the most death games I got right now. So only two, so that's a lot for me. Anyways, we're gonna get right into it. But I'm assuming this is gonna be for the detective story narrative stuff. So that's probably why they're repeating it over and over again, just to remind me. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she'd be going to the school. Okay, I'm sure she doesn't remember, but well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful, almost like a doll or something. Um, dolls doesn't. Okay, I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Huh? Did you hear me? I'm psychic. Oh. Oh. So she knows that we have a crush on her. Oh my god. Damn. Nike, uh, buddy, you might want to confess now your feelings. Huh? <laughs> Kidding. I just have a really good intuition. Damn. Uh, what? She's a sharp one. Hey, um. By any chance. Now what? Huh? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto. Did... Just hold on. Jeez, you guys, how long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Sorry, I just got carried away, I guess. You hear me? Self introductions are for introducing yourself, not bumbling through a bunch of idle chit chat. Um, yeah, you're right! Sorry. Damn it, I wanted to talk to her. Bro, you're such a fucking buzzkill, dude. We can talk about this later. It sounded like Sayaka really had something she wanted to say. But it's not like we'll never see each other again, like she said. We can talk later. Dude! I need to talk to you, bro. You're such a fucking cock blocker, bro. Like, I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. Yeah, you're also a goddamn cock blocker. I hope you die first, motherfucker. I'm after you, man. Kiyotaka Ishimaru. So that's Kiyotaka. 
According to what I saw about him on that thread, he went to a famous private school and won top honors. Oh my god, he's one of those rules for rules anime characters. All about the rules. And teacher's pet, bruh. He probably suck his dick too. He's basically a flawless honor student. Oh my god, bro. Yeah, he's flawlessly at sucking dick. That's That's probably what that is. He's also known for the work he's done with his communities. Public morales committee. They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of ultimate moral moral compass. Anyway, you could call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto Nike, right? That's a good name, a strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. And to keep the, that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it. Right, right? This guy is kind of annoying. <laughs> I said the same shit, dude. Oh my god, bro. Like, you're a cog blocker. Yo, you're just annoying as shit. Alright, so we kind of went through all the other characters. Is there any other character? What the f Where the hell did the motherfuckers go? Alright, I guess we're just not seeing them for a while. Okay. Uh, what's up, Togo Fukawa? Oh wow, I actually got that right. And I suck at Japanese pronunciations. <laughs> Ultimate Writing Prodigy. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launched her literacy career. Then two years ago, she released So Lingers, The Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot to the top of every hottest men pole. Despite her age, she's won countless literary prizes and all her books are instant bestsellers. Which is why she come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else could you call such a young and talented author? But I figured she'd be a lovey-dovey type, what with her masterpiece being a romance and all. It's not polite to stare, you know. Oh, she's weird, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> she's weird. What? It's not polite to stare, you know. What the heck? Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature. Um. Oh. Uh, uh, what the hell? Filthy creature? No, I just thought. I I know what you just thought. You thought you've never seen such an ugly woman. You just thought it was so funny. No, that's not what I was thinking at all. I'm telling you. Don't bother trying to lie to me. I know it's true. Otherwise, you know, I, I, you, I know you can't stand looking at me. Anyway. Whatever. I don't really care. I'm used to it. Wow. Talk about an inferiority complex. I was way off at what I said about what a successful author would be like. Okay, now to talk to those five people over there. Alright, bro. I like how we're just going through, like, the normal people, and then we're just putting the fucking weirdos in, like, the end. <laughs> That's just funny. Alright, so we're gonna go to the most normal person, and I'm thinking it's this one. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. What's up, Chihiro? Alright. Sorry, I kinda... And I'm, I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. Anyway, I hope we could get along. Same here. Nice to meet you. Huh? Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but have we met before? Um, I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said, nice to meet you. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, yeah, good point. Sorry. Uh, you don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, wait. She's... she's what the fuck? Can I... Do I have to read it or voice it now? Uh, Chihiro Fujisaki is known for all the cutting edge programs she's created. She's the ultimate saint programmer. She's also got that timid little bunny type thing going. What do you mean by that? A boy in the snow bunnies? Okay, I see you, boy. Yeah. Hey, so listen. Uh, I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? I didn't. I don't know what happened. Huh? What are you apologizing for now? Well, just because you seem upset, you must be mad at me, right? 
No, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Lost in thought? Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. That's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> I'm glad. Nigga, I literally just met you. What are you talking about? I'm starting to understand why her fans are so into her. Yeah, she seems very, uh, humble. Alright, let's start with Owl. Okay, Owie. Just call me Hina. What's up? Cool, what's up? What's up? What's up? Ultimate Swimming Pro. Aoi Ashihina. She's been breaking records in every competition she's been in since elementary school. Wow. That's crazy. She's even been chosen as an upcoming Olympic cadet. She is, without a doubt, the Ultimate Swimming Pro. The combination of her ability, appearance, and um, proportions has been widely discussed online. Proportions. Her proportions have been discussed online. And she's a high schooler! Yo! Yo! So, uh, what was your name again? Sorry, I totally forgot. Makoto Naigi. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. No, not something like that. It is that. You got it! Sure, sure. Got it here. I'll hammer it into my brain right now. Yeah. Makoto Nagi. Makoto Nagi. She just kept repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm like she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know? If you want to remember someone's name, you gotta write it on your hand three times. I've never heard of that before in my life. Mm. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? You spell it exactly like it sounds. Mm. Um... Well, I had no idea. Haha. <laughs> I'll just figure it out later and write it down. Okay. Anyway, glad to meet you. S -s sure, same here. Well, one thing I learned is she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. Alright, so we got her. We got her. Uh, let's meet the dude first. Name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet you. Whoa! 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 What the hell? Yo! What you crashing out at me for? Mondo Wada. Bro's not even looking at me. Mondo Wada, huh? Which means he's the biker gang. He's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He's earned respect, even at all, from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. Um, nice to meet you too. Yo. Hell yeah. I better be careful around him. One wrong word, and I could wake up at the moment, bottom of the sea? Damn. Okay, so that wasn't very much of an introduction. So let's talk to her. Junko Inoshima? Hi! I'm Junko Inoshima. Charmed, I'm sure. She looked crazy as hell. What the fuck? <laughs> she looked crazy as hell, bro. What in the world, buddy? Alright, Junko. Okay, she's the ultimate fashionista. Anybody would recognize this one. She's got more charm and presence than any high school. Oh shit, she's in high school. Oh fuck. Well, time to put the cuffs in. Just put the cuffs on me. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to jail. You know, it's, this is like the second time I've been in jail lately. You know, it, it's it's just nothing new. Um. It has to be stopped at this point, I'm sorry. Uh, she's got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. I've seen her on tons of magazines covers, but... I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. What? Huh? huh? Come on. Who, oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> huh, well, of course. Those are totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? Well, I mean, obviously, I mean, they probably do some little editing now and there. I mean, it is that type of industry that does that type of stuff. Yeah, you know, edited to hell and bag with, like, computers and junk. Computers and junk. <laughs> so, so they aren't real. What can we do? Oh, come on, don't act so surprised. You're going to make me all depressed. Totally. It's totally normal these days to Photoshop the crap out of cover or photos. If you're surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> they make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks all 
ceramic and porcelain. Okay. Oh. So many dreams are getting crushed today. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is he is he talking about her appearance? Damn, my boy was excited. He was like, man, I was about to be a famous idol. Mm. Or a singer or whatever, or the fashionista, whatever, whatever the hell. I didn't know you could be even famous for fucking fashion. I, I'm going to be honest with you. Then again, I'm not really into hip stuff in this whole media thing. Which is ironic because I upload fucking videos on YouTube. But it's like, you know, I don't go on Twitter or anything like that all day. So, I don't know. Hmm. Kyoko Kirigiri? She's very quiet. Um, can I ask your name? My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. Okay. Ultimate. She's pretty tight lipped, huh? Oh, but you know, her name didn't show up anywhere in that Hope's Peak Academy thread. And I did see that there were students like me, ones who didn't have any real identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? Um, so what are you doing at this school? What's that supposed to mean? No, I just meant getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate something are you? She looks like a detective, if anything. That doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? Huh? Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. <sighs> no, I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. Nothing about her turned up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but... Her face is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. Yeah, leave that alone, buddy. Those four over there are the only ones left. Alrighty, man. Byakuya Togami? I think as we start with him. Name's Byakuya Togami. Ooh, Byakuya. Sounds like that one dude from Bleach. Hi, uh, nice to meet you. That's the most half-ass introduction I've ever heard, but there isn't really anything I can do about it. Even among the ultimate students, this is one of the special. Byakuya Togami. He's the heir, apparently, of his family's massive financial conglomerate. Ooh. He's already started managing businesses, of operations, and his own personal assets are, well, vast. His title, Ultimate Affent Progen, is completely accurate. He's the definition of exceptional. That's everything I learned about him from the Hope's Peak Academy thread online. Come on. We're done with introductions, right? How much longer are you going to stand there? Go away. I'm sick of looking at you, you fucking monkey! Okay, I'm sorry. I had a bit more than I should. <laughs> it's over says to me. You and I will never stand on the same level. Like a king in a training. God damn. Alright, but I know damn well you're a grown ass man. I am Sakura Okami. What the fuck? How? Ultimate martial artist. Oh, she, oh, this person can whoop my fucking ass. Oh, jeez, I almost asked if she was a <laughs> Bro, I can't tell, man. Come on, you can't do this stuff to me. Like, this bofo, look at this bofo. God, get The arms! The scar? From what? From a bear? What does he have a scar for? The day I say something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball. That's what I'm saying, bro. This motherfucker look like he but he can crush you with his hands. He can just go like, and you just be like a pop like a balloon. But now I remember she competed in a martial arts tournament in America and won despite being a girl. This is a fucking female. She's the ultimate martial artist. She's fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. Damn! The thread also said a bit more about her. Some call her ogre. <laughs> Some even think she's the closest known relative to the primates, the famed missing link, and incoming Hope Speak students who are reading this. Let me warn you right now if you value your life, avoid her at all costs. 
damn. Standing in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Yeah, no. The soccer looks crazy. Hey, you. Huh? Yes. I snapped to attention without even realizing it. Then she started to poke and prod at my body. What? Um, what are you? I see. The muscular quality and quantity is right around that of an extremely ordinary high school student. What a shame. You're not a, at all fit to act as my training partner. No shit, motherfucker. Look at you. You, you got like freaking, freaking three triceps. Who has three triceps? <laughs> I'm not sure that's such a shame for me. Alright. Um, let's go with this guy. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. Alright, I'm gonna just call you Hero then. Cool. Ultimate clairvoyant. I don't have no idea what that means. Yashi. Okay, hero. Known as Supernova in the psychic community, the trend setting ultimate clairvoyant. Um, honestly, I don't really get all that fortune telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. That's what I'm saying. I don't really know what that means. I don't know what any of that means. So I like, can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Could it be? Okay, I give up. Huh? What happened? I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Saw what? Hmm. A guardian angel with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot running off with a skyfish in its mouth. Alright, bro. I'm done with this introduction. Get him out of here, man. What the hell is this dude talking about? And that guardian angel is your guardian angel. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But hey, we should grab some brewskis skis sometime and get a real deep into Lemuria and its civilization. What? We're not allowed to drink. We're in high school. Oh, that's a drink? You know? Oh, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times, see? And well, it's a long story. Oh my god. 21? Dude, just get your GED at this point. A few times. Yeah, I bet that is a long story. Oh my god. Or what do they call it? Uh... Goes to the workforce already? Like, bro, you're just not fit for school. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. Okay. Celestia Ludenberg. So she's Russian? Lisa. Oh, no, German. I would say German, right? I don't know. That sounds... Uh, Ludenberg sounds German. Uh, uh Celestia Luden... <laughs> Ludenberg, it is my name. But if you don't mind, I would prefer you to call me Celeste. Celestia? Okay. Um, are you Japanese, right? Huh? Uh, of course. Why do you ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. But as I mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celeste. She's polite, but pretty forceful at, it, at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors in that thread were right about her. The self-styled Celestia Lunenberg. She's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. Who the hell was typing in this Reddit thread here? And why do they know so much about these people? It's not like they're freaking all-time celebrities or anything. They're just like normal kids. Except for like the pop idol and then the, the fashionista girl. Other than her obvious love of gothic Lolita, uh, clothes? What is Lolita? What the hell? Uh, everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies? They say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the title Queens of Liars. She totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. Damn, life savings? Bro! Yo, you are an evil woman. I look forward to getting to know you better. I don't want to know you at all. I don't want you near a 10-foot pole of me, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that laugh either. It sounds suspicious. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. If a girl got, like, looks emo and, like, that's, like, gothic traits or, like, got, like, dark nails and shit, got that, I don't know, weird dark eyeliner, I ain't fucking with it, bro. They, they the crazy ones, man. That smile is beyond <laughs> deceptive. I better watch myself around her. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. You better wanna be careful with that. Be cautious. And with that, all the introductions are done. Hmm. 
even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of, um, something. Okay, time to get down to business. This is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed baboons. Oh, that's true. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Um, listen. Well, y y you see... Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff for what happened and then you were just asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Just after each of us to the main, we lost consciousness. And then we came to... We were somewhere in here at the school, that's what happened to you, right? But that's just weird that every one of us would get knocked out like that. Piece of shit. Exactly, that's why we're all freaking out! Oh my lord. And that's not the only thing. You saw where all the windows in the classes and hallways were, right? Yep, all bolted up. But instead of normal glass windows, it was a bunch of big metal plates. What's that about? Are you for real? Plus, all my stuff's missing. Even my cell phone. Um... Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere either. Mm. And then there's the main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. You all got kidnapped, bro. Just face it, bro. Look at the guns up there. How did they not figure out that they got kidnapped yet, bro? The guns! The cameras! Bro! That looks like a NASA security camera. God, dude, you know how bulky that bitch is? Yo! What the hell? They got military state art here, bro. What does this mean? Nah, this, is a, this has got to be like some child labor shit, dude. Like, they got this military- this is government funded, by the way, too. That's the insane part. They are government funded to freaking kidnap these kids. This is child labor, man. But there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What's it doing there? Uh, maybe we got caught up in some kind of, like, you know, crime or something. Is it, like... Kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off and we're not actually at school? Hey, come on. Don't think like that, cheer up. Um, I'd be freaking out right now too, man. I bet this is all just a part of school's orientation procedure. You know? Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So I'm gonna just take it easy for a little bit. I see. Oh, so you think they wanted to do something to surprise us? What the hell? Huh? Well, if that's all it is, it's nap time for me. You know what I mean. I was way up too late last night, so I could use a little shut-eye. I could feel everyone's tension evaporating. But then again, it be- but then it began? Uh-oh. This sounds trouble. Ahem, ahem, testing, testing! Mic check, one, two! This is a test of the school broadcast system! Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. Alright. The voice seemed totally out of place. It was playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. Oh my god. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... Right now! <laughs> entrance ceremony is crazy. Way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. What the? The hell was that just now? Goodbye. Well then, if you'll excuse me. Hey! Hey! What are you gonna take off just like that? Could it be? Oh yeah, now I get it. This whole thing was just to get us all pumped for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> Man, thank god it was all a joke. I'd be totally freaked if this was real. You know? Alright, guess I'll head out too. Wonder what they got planned for us next. Uh, Damn, I was totally looking forward to that nap too. Why did they have to go and kill the mood? Huh? Wait, for me, I want to go with you. <laughs> that is that, then I will see you all there. Anyway. Uh, not anyone cares, but I'm going to go too. Everyone took off for the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. That uneasy feeling I had before, I couldn't get it out of my mind. And it looked like I wasn't alone, oh, I wasn't the only one. Uh, um, this doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, the announcement was totally weird. However, 
Maybe, but just staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. Yeah, I think he's just with all the girls. Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. I guess she's right. But still, I'm kind of no really nervous. We don't have a choice. We have to go. They said to go to the gym, right? Do you want to save here? Ah, yeah, sure. I guess so. Um. Do we talk to her more? Something weird is going on here, right? It's not just me. All right, let's just let's just leave. Yeah, let's just leave the area. <clears throat> Damn, why is everything just boarded up? <laughs> what in the world? Alright, let me see. Um, is this it? I better make my way to the gym. I need to find out what's going on. Oh, we have to go to the gym. Oh, sweet. So we can just... Okay, cool. Alright, guess we're here. Okay, I kind of like the world building right now here. God, I had no idea this Hope's Peak Academy place was going to be such a pain in my balls. It really ain't that much different from the time I spent in Juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. And why isn't there anyone here? Walking through the halls, I didn't see a single person. Isn't that, like, seriously not good? They're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates down later. I'm sure of it. Huh. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Shit. Well, hell, it ain't like I'm scared or nothing. Let's get this over with. Hey, damn it. hey where's whoever's called us here? Mondo, stop running! No running! I well, uh, sh too shall go. <laughs> hey, wait, don't leave me <laughs> Oh my god, Jesus. Okay, time for some more tutorial action. You can press tab key to observe the room you're in. Okay. Observer will display what people and objects you can interact with. Sorry for the late in notice. Ooh, okay. This school has a lot of TVs. They couldn't just all be for that weird school broadcast, could they? Okay. Ooh, the sword. A display case, there are all kinds of trophies and plagues inside. Of course, all the students who go here are ultimate, right? So this is probably just a tiny fraction of all their awards. Let's so go talk to the girls now, right? Where are all the other students? Why are we the only ones here? All right. Total silence. For whatever reason, she's the only one managing to stay calm. Or maybe I'm just imagining that. Alright, what about her? This is bad. I'm still getting a bad vibe right now. Oh boy. Okay, what about the doors? Still filled with uneasy dread, I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. And I saw what was waiting for us there. Oh, it really does look like an entrance ceremony. Yo. See? I told you. It's totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. Hero was right. But in a way, that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there! Howdy! Hello! Is everyone here? Good! Then let's get things rolling! Oh snap. Nah, this shit looks crazy right now. It was the strangest thing I've ever seen. Right before my eyes, it was a bear. What was I seeing? Was it was utterly incomprehensible. Nice to meet you all. All right. 
Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. Alright, and all that anxiety I had been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. I ain't gonna lie, bruh, but Bear's talking right now. What? That teddy bear can talk? That's what I'm saying, bruh. There's just a speaker inside of it. Hey, I... Bruh, I'm the same, bruh. If a teddy bear starts talking out of nowhere, bruh, I'm terrified. Shit. I told you already. I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma, and I'm your headmaster. It moved! Seriously, man, calm down. It's probably just a remote control toy or something. <laughs> How dare you compare me to a child's plaything? You've come me deep. Deeper than the mar marinara trench? My remote control system is so complex, and even the folks at NASA can't recreate or even comprehend it. What? Ah, but don't make me say stuff that might could destroy NASA's dreams. I just couldn't bear that. Oh my god. Well. Bear, that really, you are unfortunate. Hmm. Now then, moving on. We really must hurry and get started. Come on. Giving up already? No other stupid bear puns? I'm about to say, we're going to hear those bear puns for like a while. Now Quiet down now. Quiet down. Ah, okay, so... He has abandoned the gag. Good morning. Everyone stand attention and bow. And good morning. You hear me? Good morning! What's your problem? You don't have to say it back. Now then. Let's commence with a most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. First, let's talk a bit about what your school life here will be like. Now, uh, make no mistake, you few students, so full of potential and represent the hope of the world, Alright. And to protect such splendid hope, you will all live a communal life together solely within the confines of the school. Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. Huh? Hmm. Ah, now then, regarding the end of the day for this communal life, there isn't one. Damn. In other words, you'll all be here until the day you die. Such is the school life you've been assigned. What? What did he just say? Until the day we die? Yep. Oh, but fear not. We have quite an abundant budget, so you won't lack for all the common conveniences. Hold on a second. That's the least of our worries right now. Hmm. Yeah. What the hell? You're saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? I. Not screwing with you. I am no liar. Of that, you can be 100% sure. Uh -huh. Oh, and just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. So you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond these walls ever again. C cut off? So all those metal plates all over the school? Damn. They're there to keep us trapped in here. That's exactly what they're there for. No matter how much you may yell and scream for help, help will not come. So with all of that in mind, feel free to live out your life here with the reckless abandonment. Hey, come on. Uh, come on. What what the hell is this? I don't care if the score or whatever else is behind it all. This is just a really bad joke. Damn yeah, cut this shit out. It isn't funny anymore. Unbeatable. You keep saying this is a lie or a joke. A bunch of skeptics, all of you. What are you gonna do? But I guess you can't help it. Huh, you all grew up in an age where you're taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you'll have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. And then, when that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs I speak the undeniable truth. Most Having to live here forever would be quite the problem. What's this? Come now, what's the matter with all of you? You decided of your own free will to attend Hope's Peak Academy, didn't you? And now, before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you've already decided you want to leave? Either they didn't read the pamphlet, or this just was not in the plan for the pamphlet contract, or whatever it was. Oh, uh, but you know, I guess I did forget to mention one thing. There is one way for you to leave the school. R really? As headmaster, I've crafted a special clause for those of who would like to leave. I call it the gra graduation clause. Now let me tell you about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment harmony here, we rely on a communal lifestyle. 
and if someone were to disrupt that harmony, they and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is the guardian. As that, that is my students, is the graduation clause. What? What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> well, you know, if one person were to murder another, M murder, yes, stabbing, strangling, bludge gunning, uh, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting. How do you? Uh, it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. The rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. Damn, bruh. That's crazy. So someone's gonna end up killing somebody to leave. A chill shot down my spine? You must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. I bet that got your brain juices flowing. Beats the heck out of a human catching a Solomon, huh? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world, but you know, taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darkened shadow of despair. I just find that so darn exciting! What the hell? What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other is... To kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. What are you saying? We know that. It, we know what it means! That's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? <laughs> this guy's voice acting is hilarious. Yeah, stop blabbering all of, all of this nonsense. Just let us go home already. Oh shit. Ooh. You guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go. Let us go. You keep on saying the same thing over and over and over and over and over. Listen, from this moment on, the school is your home, your life, your world. Got it? Yahoo! You can kill as much as you want to kill, so go ahead and go on. Killing, killing, killing sprees. Oh my god. Alright, come on. How long are you going to keep this up? Huh? You, know? you got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us. So you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Huh? Reveal the trick? I'm right, yeah, because I mean, you know, this is all some kind of trick and all, right? So, uh, like... Dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way. Shoving Hero aside, Mondo placed himself in front of the Monokoma, his voice rumbling like thunder. Listen up, asshole. This shit's gone way too far. What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the joke? Ooh, you mean like your hair? Damn. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Mondo roared and then there was a huge boom. It was the sound of the floorboards as he kicked off and launched himself into the air. Damn. He flew at Monokoma, fast and straight as a bullet. He logged on his, to his target. Oh shit. Gotcha, you little piece of shit. I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Oh shit. You better go down. I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds. Let's go. Violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> there we go. Damn it. What? No smart ass come back this time? What's happening? Piece of shit. Stop the goddamn beeping and say something! Watch out! Get rid of it! Huh? Huh. Hurry up and throw it! I don't know if her fear furious furiosity stunned him into silence or what, but without a word he did what was told. What he was told. He threw Monokoma. And as soon as he did. Oh! What the hell? What the? That sure as shit wasn't a joke. It blew the hell up! There was a painful ringing in my ears, and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but then it's real life. I'd never seen anything like it. But you know, this means that the teddy bear has been destroyed, right? I told you I'm not a teddy bear, I'm Otakoma. Damn! Just laying on her head. Oh, what? There's another one? You son of a bitch! You seriously tried to kill me just now! Of course. Well, yes. I was serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of the school regulations, after all. I'll let you off with a warning this time, but you better be careful from now on. 
Any naughty boy or girl who violates any rules won't get off with such a little swat on the butt. Hey, so does this mean there's like a bunch of more of you around somewhere? Yep. Monokomas have been placed all throughout the school, yes. Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you were, you're caught breaking any rules, well, you all just saw what happened, right? <laughs> and I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time, so don't let it happen again. That's not even punishment, that's just wrong. Well? Now then, lastly, to commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. This is our official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital, so actually we call it the e-handbook. <clears throat> yes, well, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. Healthy school life, how ironic, bro. You just try to blow someone out. Yeah, right. Healthy my ass. When you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Now, this is not your everyday notebook. It has many more uses than that. It also completely waterproof, splash it, wash it, drown it, it'll be on uh, ticking. And thanks to its space age design, it can withstand an impact force up to 10 tons. Very resistant. Damn. It contains all of our school regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly. You guys. You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school regulations will not be tolerated. Shing. Rules restrict, yes, but they also protect. Society, for examples, would be utter chaos without laws. Yes, the same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial we have to strike a punishment in place for violators. Okay, well, that brings our interest ceremony to a close. Bye -bye. Please enjoy your abundantly dreary, dreary school life, and see ya. And with that, he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. So, guys, would you define what we just experienced? What the huh? Why? I don't understand any of this. Hmm? We have to live here forever or kill? <laughs> what just happened? Everyone, we need to just calm down. First, let's just take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monokoma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is that we stay here living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is, if we want to get out of here alive, we have to kill someone, right? But killing someone, that's... We were abducted out of nowhere and stuffed into this place meant to look like a school. And now we're supposed to start killing each other? This is... <laughs> this is just... What is this? Alright, Tubby, you need to, like, relax a little bit, man. Like, just stay calm. Just relax, man. Oh my god, my boy's sweating, god. Damn, his hair's sticking up. Ridiculous. A lie is what it is. All of these ridiculous things we've heard, this is all has to be fake. Right now, it doesn't really matter if it's real or fake. What matters is, so in other words, is there anyone here who's seriously considering all this? To that, nobody had a response. Keeping quiet myself, I looked around at the others. They all started one another trying to gouge each other's thoughts. I could almost taste the hostility. And that's when it hit me. I realized that the true terror hidden within the rules Motokama had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words had planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Ooh, everyone had these illegal tensions. Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is somebody going to betray us? Hmm. And that was how you, my school life began. The school which had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high. It's not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. Damn, bro. Prologue, welcome to despair. The end. Surviving students, 15. Ooh, we, man. To be continued. Nice. Alright. Alrighty, so I guess I can stop the video from right there. Wait a minute, hold on. Oh, we got the we got the opening here. Dun 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 dun. 
Okay, we got all the characters showing up. Not gonna lie, I like this game. This is freaking cool. I mean, I only watched the anime like one time, so I don't really know what this is gonna be about, except for the fact that uh, they're stuck in a death game. So they, they definitely are gonna have to kill people to get out or live a communal life. But we now know that this is a death game. Uh, school arena or whatever it is. So this is pretty sick, bro. We got some interesting characters too. My boy got the animation table dog and the toes out. I'm kind of wondering who's going to survive this though. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm, I'm wondering who the hell is going to get out of here, though. Hmm. Alright, man. So that's going to be it for that video. I shall see y'all later. Click the like button, hit the bell notification, and subscribe to the main channel. You know, to this channel, obviously, since this is what we're playing, playing it on. And um, I'm interested in all these, like, characters. Just a storyboard right now, you know. Murder mystery. Nice. That's where we're basically going with this. Alright. I'm heading out. Peace! <laughs>